Well, Basil World, Basil World, Basil. Anyway, Basil, the watch show is finally over, thank God, and I think we all halfway survived it with most of our sanity intact. And, you know, I hate to admit it, I do kind of toe the Archie line on this on this one. For me, Basil World is not one I'm looking at to purchase this year. It's more like a preview of coming attractions. It's one I might be looking at in 2019 or 2025 or whatever until these puppies start hitting the used market. Now, there is one exception, and... And even though I've been sick to death of Basil World releases, Hodinkee actually had a hands-on with the watch. That probably would be the one I would buy. Now, and again, you know, I, I can hear Archie yelling shitter in the back of my mind. I'm not going to pull up the soundboard and play with it right now because I've got to get ready for my jarb. But it's called the Longines Military Watch. Now, and I'm going to post a link below. Oh my God! If you uh, if you like military, if you like vintage, this is the this is the this is the business. I'm trying to keep it fam family friendly. Um, so it's stainless steel. A lot of war watches at the time, which this emulates, were made of uh, plated metals. You know, uh, brass that was either chromed or whatever, that they don't age that well. So this one looks nice, but authentic. It has a Fotina dial on it, but, you know, it, uh, Art Deco numerals on it, good, uh, fake patina. You know, they're saying no two dials are alike. Um, you know, railroad tracks around the, uh, around the minute markers keep precise track of time and blued hands. So very, not in Longines, it doesn't have automatic, it just has Longines, nothing else. And I like that. I like that very clean. Um, the, uh, let's uh, edit in it, a, let's see, an A13, I think. No, A31. I suffer from adult onset dyslexia. Automatic, uh, 3.5 hertz, you know, 25, 200 uh, vibrations per hour, 65 hour power reserve, 21 joules. And I, I just love this thing. Now, it, uh, a nice little classic age strap. Um, closed case back, so it doesn't have an exhibition case, which would be totally against the spirit of the watch. And I've handled a few war watches. You know, when Hodeki says, when they came across it, they had to look it over two or three times to make sure it wasn't an actual vintage watch. Oh, what, by the way, 38.5 millimeters. So, you know, a little, a little bigger than the original, a little thicker than the original, since not manual wind, but it's got a nice large crown like the authentic ones do. And in case you're wondering, the dinging is I stupidly made contact with Don Haynes. Han Dane's A Star Wars Story before I started filming, so now ding, 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 you know. Oh my god, Don. Shut up for like five seconds. Anyway, I'm going to put a link in the description below. It sells for 2,000 Swiss francs. Um, 2,000 Swiss francs, roughly 2,100 American dollars. It's going to be available in the last half of this year. When I get a discount, i got to be honest. This thing checks a lot of boxes for me. So if you like vintage, if you like military. You know, actually, and with the blued hands and the simple dial, it's almost got like a Nomos thing going for it. So, anyway, I've got other things buzzing around this semi-empty noggin of mine, but I don't have time to get to them today because, again, I have a jarb. So, Wednesday, hump day. Um... I think I think Archie's going to talk to the Suckle Hornets, like uh, you know, live stream classic. So I'll be on there fisting it away in the live the live uh, stream comments. Be good to each other. Oh, and also, uh, what do you guys think about that? Am I stupid for looking at modern long jeans? Is this nothing but just long jeans trying to recycle? Should I murder Don Haynes? Anyway, leave your comments below. Thanks.